Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert, and today I'm going to show you the latest version of Catching Sync from the makers of Wave Rider. Catching Sync is an iOS app that will work on most recent iPhones and iPads, allowing you to capture and then determine any sync errors in your playback system. These usually occur when video and audio go through separate devices, like the audio passing through a receiver, or more commonly, the video through an LCD screen, or perhaps worse still, a projector. Catching Sync will help you determine how much the offset is for your system in milliseconds or frames. With that information, you can add appropriate amounts of delay to your signal and get everything to play along properly in sync. Catching Sync has been around for a year or so now, and it's been steadily improving. The latest version, 1.0.7, has really brought Catching Sync into the frame, pardon the pun, because it now uses the high frame rate video recording that Apple introduced in the iPhone 5 and 5S. The iPhone 5 can record at 60 frames per second and the 5S at 120 frames per second, which means that catching sync is much more accurate at capturing the offsets and enabling you to get a precise measurement to use to correct your system. So let's take a look at how to use it. Firstly, you need to choose a video file to play on your system that has clear sync points. Anything with a clear visual reference and a sharp sound should work fine, but it's best to try and make sure that the visual reference exists somewhere in the middle of the screen. The best examples are frame-long countdowns or sync-checking pips or plops, as long as you're confident that they're accurate. If you don't have anything to hand, then there are videos available to download from the Catching Sync website. You need to play your video through all your usual devices onto your screen. Once you have a suitable video, make sure that the sound is also at a reasonable level, as Catching Sync will be using the device's mic to pick up the sound. Select the film icon and choose record video. Now hold up your phone to the screen and frame it so that the video is filling the frame on the phone. Put Catching Sync into record and then play the video on your screen. When it's done, hit stop, then the app will go into analysis mode. Scroll the video until you get to a sync reference point and find the exact start of the frame. Look at where the audio waveform is. If there's an offset like this one, unlock the video and audio and scrub the audio until the start of the audio is on the little red line. And now you can read off the offset. A positive offset value means that the video is delayed and a negative offset means the audio is delayed. In this case, I have a negative offset because I'm using a receiver in the audio monitor path. But in most cases, the offset will be a positive one showing that the video has been delayed. Notice how the offset is displayed in milliseconds. You can go into settings by touching the gear wheel icon and then changing the measurement to frames. With Pro Tools, you can use either measurement setting as the Pro Tools video offset window allows you to set the offset in either quarter frames or in milliseconds. So I'm able to enter minus 11 quarter frames to compensate for the delay that's being introduced by my receiver. You can use a range of different iOS devices. And if you're using one of the older devices, then there's a range of compensation settings which you can find on the Catching Sync website. But with the high frame rate and the fact that there's no need to add one of those offsets, the iPhone 5 and especially the iPhone 5S are the best devices to use with Catching Sync. In the settings window, as well as being able to enter a device offset and change the measurement unit, you can also set the frame rate for the measurement process. This should be set to match the frame rate in the video that you're using. You can also compensate for the distance that you are from the source. So in a large theatre where you may be some distance from the screen and speakers, you can compensate for that. So there you have it. If you already own an iPhone 5 or 5S, then Catching Sync is a no-brainer.
You can download the app from the iTunes store for free and it will run in demo mode. But to use it for real you'll need to make an in-app purchase to unlock the application. It costs $13.99 or £9.99 so it won't exactly kill the bank account. With the new high speed frame rate feature with the iPhone 5 and 5S, Catching Sync can now compete very well with any other similar product on the market. And if you work in video, this has to be a must have device. See you again soon.